Hi, I'm Uber Butler. Last year, I got a fake restaurant in a shed to number one on TripAdvisor in London. They just tried to book it. The shed story didn't seem to die. It went on a world tour. All things same for you, Brazil. Brazilian TV did a reenactment special. Chinese TV came over to the shed and filmed me for two hours while people commented on it. The shed was discussed in Singaporean Parliament in order to help them form new laws on fake news. I've been endlessly contacted by media from all over the world asking for interviews. It doesn't matter where like the interview is from, they ask me the exact same questions. So I decided to send fake versions of myself on TV, radio, and in public for the next six weeks. But can I get away with it? People like put forward totally fake versions of themselves online nowadays anyway, don't they? Like if you have a sexy you who's on Instagram, you have like a funny you on Twitter. So like why can't I do that in real life? If it works, this can only be a good thing. And it means that I can spend more time on nothing. I'm gonna host auditions to find these like bettered versions of myself. What we're doing here is we're trying to get a platoon of people who will be me at media events. I want to find the genuinely best person to do it. I believe you've seen the Shed documentary, right? Sure. Is the opening of the Shed documentary. I'm not sure if you've seen it. Yep. 40 million people have listened to this, and now I want to be the 40 million and, and first person to hear it. The Shed is the number one rated re restaurant in London. You've got every foodie, celebrity and blogger in the city trying to get a table. But the problem is, until now, it didn't exist. I like getting to know the character and then becoming that character. Amazing. Yeah. What's, the best, what's your like, favourite thing? I like done? playing gangsters or serial killers. I get my <laughs> teeth into it. Get your teeth into it. <laughs> yeah, have yeah. a little bit of like... Uh... Yeah, real life serial killers and things like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they, they tried to book again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they tried to book again. <laughs> oh my god, they tried to take. Uh, they... One more time. That's all good. We're going to do a role play where I've just met you. I'm like a producer. And I've brought you in, and then I've realised you're not me. That's not you. No, no, it is. Are you? Maybe I'll change my hair a bit, but it's definitely me. Look, you've got to be up. We've got to fill a slot in five minutes, and you're Oh, come on, man. Get, get it Uber going. Butler. I'm very famous. I need to be places. I am Uber Butler. Hi, I'm Uber Butler. Hi, please meet you. I'm Uber Butler. I'm Uber Butler. Come on, who's Uber? Is this a, is this a joke? I'm, I'm Uber. I think someone's going to realise if I send a woman. It's up to you, Uber. His audition wasn't great, but he looked really good. He's a hotter version of me. He's hot Uber. <laughs> they tried to block again. He was going to be on BBC Radio 2 with Vanessa Feltz. That's seven million people. That's more people than I've ever been in front of. Are you OK to take out your um, piercings and stuff as well? All right. When's the last time you took it out? Never took it out. There you go. Nice so where did the idea come from? Um, so I was, a few years ago, I was working, uh, writing uh, fake reviews for restaurants. Converted Shed and Dulwich. 15 calls a day. And I need to talk to you and Vanessa about a project on Monday. Are you a fan of Vanessa Feltz? I'm not a clue who she is. It all started for fun. I, I, was, I, was take, I was taking the pitch, I was having a laugh. I had the shed, I'd, I'd been living in the sh converted shed, so sure. that, that was easy enough. Yeah. This is so ridiculous. Like, I'm gonna have like ex girlfriends, colleagues, everyone being like, oh my god, Uber, you're on Radio 2. Wow, like, well done. <laughs> and it's not gonna fucking be me. Good luck. Sweet. <laughs> More so now, but I, I fully think we almost got ratted out at the, at the desk. She was like, Uber Butler, yeah, Sam, shows her ID. Looks nothing like me. Comes up with a picture, obviously, when you're signing up the registration. 
and it's like 18 inch, 18 inch screen on. There's a picture which definitely isn't me. Mm -hmm. There's something just about to come on the radio that we need to listen to. Seven million people listening. Uber joins me in the studio right now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, it's it sort of started um, from 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 once working and writing fake reviews. Mm -hmm. um, what uh, does make a good review? Um, I think it's it's um, what makes a good review. Mm. Why would you bother with this? Thank you so much. Interesting to meet you. <laughs> That's me. So I thought the whole thing had gone terribly, but I couldn't have been more wrong. People went on device and read the story. We had a spike in website traffic. And because he'd done so well, I sent him on Indian TV. In fact, getting it for the perspectives from Butler himself. I was working, I've been working as a journalist for five years now. I get tons of likes from Indian fans on Facebook because he's the hotter version of me. The next thing that I get is an interview for like Bulgarian TV over Skype. Hello? Hi, can you hear me? I decided to go for this incredibly charming actor. The shed's just behind me back there. But I didn't want to leave any of it to chance, so I fed him the answers to the questions. Is it so easy to mislead people online? <laughs> yeah, well, I tricked everyone. I like to think of myself as the Monet of farce. I like to paint with nonsense. The Washington Post did an article and called me the Donald Trump of TripAdvisor. And look, I've got the same hair as him, you know? It's just me, Uber, I guess, isn't it? <laughs> what about the story about Singapore? Well, the Shed was in a hearing in <laughs> their parliament about, like, fake news. This is crazy. Are you real? Am I real? Is anything real? Нема на Уба, който работи като журналист, да се измисли цял ресторант и да го превърне в сензация. Написах различни варианти на фалшиви коментари. Ами аз има ли нещо истинско? They want you to come into the studio, but I've said, basically, it'll just be on the phone. So Five Live, we're doing a station-wide special about, like, the morality of fake reviewing. How would you feel about going on the BBC as me? I don't look that much like you, but... No, no this um... is about the brain. Given the fact you've got, like, a background in, like, anthropology and you're a brilliant journalist... <laughs> OK. <laughs> um, yeah, you're quite mad, aren't you? Smart Uber absolutely nails it. He basically goes on a tour of Britain as me. So while I was just sat around on my sofa, the whole of Great Britain thinks that I'm a smart guy. The next thing that I get is an invitation to go on Australia's biggest breakfast show. So I decide to go for, like, the closest thing that I can find, and that's my own flesh and blood, my brother. This is by mile the most risky one we've done. Right, so it's like a morning break. Yeah, 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 it's right. a morning show. Oh, it is a morning show. It's their right. biggest, it's the biggest morning show in Australia. <laughs> you happy that we're down here? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You've actually been on the channel and met the people before. You'll be fine because the first they're going to see of you is like you on the screen. <laughs> Do you think that it's going to work? Uh, <laughs> no. Oh, wow. Well. We're going to need to do you this. You have to hold my skin taut about <laughs> So my brother was about to be interviewed in the same studio with the same presenters on the same show in front of, like, the biggest audience in Australia, and we had done no preparation. <laughs> He did his first Aussie interview with us last December. Yeah, absolutely. They were all absolute nonsense, <laughs> which is fitting, really. So good. And Uber Butler joins us once again from London. Good morning to you. It was actually last year that you infiltrated Fashion Week, but why did you go back to the designer of Peviani jeans recently? 
I guess I wanted more people to hear the story. What do you hope that people take out of what you've done now with the fashion world? The identity fluidity that the internet has brought us. I'm not even the same person I, I was a, a year ago. There's something fun there as well. Mm. Oh, it was great losing, fun. losing yourself in it. Uber, a delight to talk to you again. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. My team of Ubers represented me to millions of people from all over the world. I got follow-up interviews, tons of new fans, opportunities. Like, they literally did a better job at me than I could ever imagine. Have you heard of The Shed, by any chance? Yes. The yeah, 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 I did that, I did that, basically. Oh, my God, is that you? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm, I'm PR. Uber is the journalist. Awesome. Take Uber? Away, yeah, nice. Nice. So now they'd put, like, all the hard work in, I could sit back and reap the benefits. I got nominated for a prestigious award for journalists, Content Creator of the Year. The judges said they were absolutely inspired by the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, the award goes to... Uban Butler. <laughs> Not only was this dumb idea possible, but it optimised me as a brand. Yeah! Thank you so much for this award. I really enjoy it. Thank you so much. If I can send fakes to represent me, why can't everyone else? Ever feel like you're not quite making the most of your life? Whether it's during that big presentation or the morning after the night before. But you can always find an Uber. Uber is the world's first service which enables you to order a lookalike of yourself who can step into your life and optimise it. Want to impress your date? Uber.com That DJ set becoming a train wreck? Uber.com Designated driver had one too many. You know what to do. Uber.com. Optimize your identity. What happened? Didn't we won. Yeah. Content creator of the year. What happened? And I just said, I took an Uber here. <laughs> Uh, let's can, do, can I take it home? Uh, no, no, I love that. That's for my mum. Yeah. yeah, you can have it. Oh. No, 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 you're not allowed to. No, you can have it.